Hi guys, this is Lemon2551 and I have a Ruby tutorial for all of you guys. So to today's tutorial will be about um, adding a hovering buttons onto your Weebly website. Let me show you how it looks. So basically the hovering button will be on the right or left of the page. When you scroll up, this will follow you. Yep. And if you have a person want to share, just click onto the a, a blog post and let me see. So you're gonna wait for a while because it is quite slow. My computer is quite slow. In the meantime, let me pause the video. Yep, and yep, and we are back. And so if a person to share share this post, just click on the Facebook button <coughs> and click on share link to share the post. So you, uh, we, it will be pre preferably be used in a page, so that you will share the whole page. Yeah, because if you want to share a specific blog post, you have to click onto that blog post and then share it. So, yeah, but I think using on a page it will be much better. But if you don't want, you can just add it onto every page of your website. So, if you're ready, let's get started. Okay, firstly to get the hovering buttons, you go to Google, search for hovering buttons. Okay, and you will find this. You will find this link. Click on this link over here. Hovering buttons, real time social sharing. Share this. It looks like this. Okay, I click on it, and I'll provide the link in the description box below. Okay, share this dot com slash publishers publishers slash get hovering buttons I'll put in the description box below so don't worry so firstly we go to our dashboard which is weebly.com okay login um Let me see, I'll use another site to edit. This is just a test site, there's nothing in it. Yep. Okay, so here we go. So, firstly, there is some options for you to choose from. If Tick if you want to enable it, but untick if you do not want to enable it. Okay. Customize hovering buttons, docking position. Do um, docking position basically means that where do you want the, the widget to, to be on your page? Do you want it to be on your left or do you want it to be on your right? So if you're on the right, just click on the right. Yep. And then carry on. Do you want to add share buttons? This is, of course, we need the share buttons, but some. If you don't want, just untake it, and you want to, you won't have anything. Yep, I guess. Yep. So you need to click the share buttons, and now click on get the code. So you have to register an account before you can um, use this widget. So I've already registered, and let me sign in. that let me pause okay we are back I'm sorry for that because I just forgot to my password which is very embarrassing okay let's continue right and after doing this click on get the code sorry get the code so now follow what it tells you place the script tags in the head section of the HTML um, as you might have known that we really editor do not have, have a hit hit attack but this is actually for the design the CSS 
so if you want to put it on every single page you have to go to settings search engine optimization firstly we copy this code of this code remember to copy every single one of them copy it and paste it at the header code paste it and now put this script at the end of the page which I presume or it can be used in the footer code there it is um because I already have a lot of code so I just get make this wait for the new code paste it inside and there's nothing so just save it and publish and let's see there we have it it is now on the right of the page so for example if I share a page just click on Facebook share or any other sharing widget you want and then you just share this page so I would say you recommend it if you share if you use it on a specific page yeah if you understand what I mean so that's all for today's tutorial thank you guys for watching and have a nice day